Welcome back, travel fans. It's me again, Morgan, from the very unofficial travel guides, and I've got another great video for you this week. This is the Marriott Miami Airport, which includes a Marriott courtyard and residence with a shared pool, fitness center, and a handful of restaurants and bars. Let's look inside. It's actually a really popular hotel for pre- or post-cruise vacations, and we stayed here before our first ever transatlantic cruise in the spring of 2014. First up, the room. Since we were only staying in Miami for like 20 hours, we really didn't care what the room was like as long as we could sleep, but it was actually really nice. We have these two queen beds with their own reading lights, and over here is a big mirrored closet and the bathroom. Very bright, lots of counter space, and a nice normal sized tub and shower with a big fat shower head. The hotel also offered these fancy schmancy looking amenities and I still have them. Want to win them? Then share the link to this video after I post it on my Facebook page or tweet it and add at Mr. Morgan O'Brien at the end for your chance to win. Anyways, back to the room. Here's the basic flat screen TV and a chest of drawers, but only the left side is drawers and the right side is a secret compartment hiding a coffee maker. There's a selection of free coffees for your enjoyment, or you can just go downstairs and get some Starbucks. Speaking of ridiculously priced, overly marketed beverages, there's also a bottle of Fiji water temptingly placed on the coffee table. Here's the view of the really nice little pool area and the airport just across the freeway. And by the way, if you're worrying about the noise, don't. This is the actual sound in the room during the day while planes are taking off. Those windows are thick and sound resistant. Let's look at the pool. Since we were jet lagged traveling in from Europe, we woke up at like 5 a.m. So we went to the pool and got some sun before we got picked up to go to the pier. There's lots of places to lay in the sun and shade and also lots of complimentary towels. Very nice, Marriott. Also down by the pool area is the shared fitness center with plenty of cardio machines. Oh, and here's an insider tip. There's also a bowl of free fruit in the gym. So hey, there's your breakfast. As far as food goes, we had dinner at the Champion Sports Bar on the night that we arrived. Marcus had the chicken wing salad and I had the quesadilla salad. Both tasty and filling, but I don't know, 46 bucks for two salads and two drinks just seems kind of pricey to me, or is it not? Something that definitely is pricey is the cost of parking your car. $17 for overnight self-parking? Now we know how they're making their money. But overall, we had a great stay at the Marriott Miami Airport, and I would have absolutely no problem to stay there again. As you can see, the bus picked us up right in front of the hotel and took us to the pier in like 20 minutes. Whoa, did you seriously watch this video until the end? Good job. Well, then you should click on my face to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already because I post new travel-related videos every weekend and click on one of those videos over there for something else really fun and interesting. Go ahead. Um, I'll wait. Click there or here. All right, I'm leaving now. Bye.